He was about their age, little Marco Archer, the boy whose abduction and murder shocked the country. At only 11 years of age, his murder has been one of the most followed stories for the year in the media and has prompted politicians to call for amendments to the Bahamas' child protection laws. There have also been calls for a sexual offenders list. His funeral at Mount Calvary Baptist Cathedral Saturday drew a huge crowd, but not the numbers expected in a case that has garnered nationwide public attention. Though the government has mentioned looking into Little Marco's murder and the investigation, no members of the Free National Movement attended the funeral. Progressive Liberal Party Member of Parliament for Bain and Grantstown, the constituency where Marco lived, attended the funeral and brought condolences on behalf of his area. Since his demise and the gruesome discovery of his body, miles away from where he was abducted, the soul of the nation has been chilled, and strangers have cried out for justice. Tears flowed as the more than three-hour memorial service carried on. But outside of the tears, there was an air of relief that little Marco Archer was finally laid to rest more than one month after his murder. People sang, rejoiced, even brought to their feet as Marco's family and friends paid their last respects. Now that he has been put to rest, his family has one final battle before they can rest, seeing justice carry out for little Marco Archer in the court. Reporting for Tribune News Network Online, I'm Chester Robards.